if you are a graduate or you have professional experience and you would like to move abroad here's an opportunity for you to move abroad like to move to austria without a job or school admission all you have to do is to follow the simple lay down procedure which i'm going to be sharing with you in this video so if this is of interest to you keep watching in case you're meeting me for the first time my name is promise breno i live in poland i'm a business consultant and also a foreign admission expert i'm here to help you i've made a couple of videos already on my channel about jobs that you can use to move to poland and also other opportunities on my channel if you desire to move out of your home country or out of your present location into better places let's say europe canada and so on then this is the right channel for you ensure you are subscribed to this channel because subscribing to this channel will be of benefit to you as i drop videos about opportunities on my channel every week so ensure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of these videos hey listen i've been there and i know how it feels like when you desire opportunities and how to move out of where you are and you don't find them or you don't know how to do it If you have a bachelor's degree or master's or any professional degree in engineering, medicine, law, business or management subject, or if you have an expertise in skills that are hard to find for employment in Austria, then I want you to watch this video till the end because you will be able to travel to Austria and find jobs on the Austrian Job Seekers visa now this is one of the cheapest ways and easiest ways i believe you can use to move abroad since you won't have to be paying any agent to process a work permit for you okay or you won't need to pay a school fees to any school to move abroad okay so take this serious this content i'm going to be sharing with you about the austrian job seekers visa Okay, I'm going to be giving you some details. I'm going to be sharing with you how to apply. Okay, so ensure that you watch this video till the end. And please smash the like button if you're looking forward to knowing more. Now, there are people who don't need this Austrian job seeker visa. And one of them is if you are an EU citizen. If you're from an EU country, okay, you don't need this uh, Austrian job seeker visa because EU nationals can go to other EU countries and work, especially those from the Schengen region. For example, somebody from Poland can go to Austria and work without a visa or without this job seeker visa. Okay, and if you've already received a job offer, okay, in Austria, then you don't need this job seeker visa. What you need is a red, white, red card, which I'm going to be talking to you about in a moment okay but for now let's focus on austrian job seeker visa now this austrian job seeker visa is a six month visa that will give you ample time to look for job in austria so the main purpose of this visa is for you to go to austria okay and look for job and this visa is valid for six months so is it easy to get this job seekers visa for austria okay now i think it is easy to obtain a job seekers visa for austria because your eligibility will totally depend on point based system when you will be given specific points for your previous job experience language proficiency qualifications age and origin of your education if a job seeker visa applicant manages to get over 65 to 70 points then that person would actually stand eligible to apply for an austrian job seekers visa as per the new immigration policy okay now um you will kind of have the opportunity to self-evaluate yourself so using the parameter that will be given to you by the austrian embassy when you contact them or the appropriate body that are supposed to be sending you the information when you contact them and the things that will be taken into consideration which will be given some points are your previous job experience your language proficiency qualifications age and origin of your education so let's say for example so maybe they need to give you 10 points for your previous job experience or 20 points for your previous job experience and 15 points for your language 
uh, proficiency, okay, and um, qualification. So when I'm talking about language proficiency, it could be English language proficiency. So uh, I don't think that they'll be very strict on uh, you knowing German because um, they're opening this visa for, I mean, they're opening, they're opening this visa to foreigners. So I believe that they are talking about English language proficiency here. So maybe English language proficiency will carry like a 15 points. Then um, the younger you are, okay maybe the higher the point you get okay uh in terms of age then also the origin of your education where you studied so you know there will, there will be points so which i don't know the exact point all right all these things you'll find out when you contact the appropriate mission that are supposed to be sending you the information you need in order to initiate this process okay now how do you apply for this job seeker visa for austria now before i tell you if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop content and if this content is something that you're benefiting please like this video all right okay so you can apply this by following this process so i believe that um you should contact the austrian embassy in your country okay so um, this Austrian job seeker visa process, okay, is easy. It's quite easy, like compared to other job seeker visas for other countries. For example, I've made video on job seeker visa for Germany and for Sweden. I think this one is the same with the one for Sweden. Yeah, I believe this one is the same. Okay, the only thing is for Sweden, you must have a master's degree in order to apply for job seeker visa for Sweden. But this one, um, I think even if you have a bachelor's degree, I believe, and I think based on this uh, article, I believe you can also apply for this one, okay? Because for the one for Sweden, you can apply for that one at the comfort of your home online, okay? So that one is also easy. So this is one of the easiest job seeker visas that you can apply because there are a couple of countries that are giving this job seeker visa. So based on this article, I know that the process of application for job seekers visa for most countries is quite complex and stressful but to my surprise this is not the case for or this is not the case with austrian job seekers visa because um, an applicant is required to evaluate themselves a point based system and you need to submit an application for visa directly at the embassy of austria in your own country okay this is why it is easy so how do you contact the austrian embassy in your country in order to initiate the process okay so uh you can come on google okay so when you come on google then you can type austrian embassy okay in your own country so in this uh video i'm going to talk about for nigeria Okay, so if you're in Nigeria, follow me carefully and every other country as well. You just need to type the one for your country, okay? So when you come here, uh, you can see their phone number here, all right? Now, you can also find out more, all right? So by going on their website, when you go on their website, then you can scroll. When you scroll, uh, you're going to come to a point where you see this form here. So you just need to enter Austrian job seeker visa job seeker visa okay application inquiry application inquiry okay sorry so um when you've done that when you've done that then here sorry pardon my uh typing all right so here uh you need to enter the message okay like now you want to find out um information about the austrian um job seeker visa so dear sir or madam dear sir or madam then you introduce yourself and you tell them that you want information like you would like to apply for the austrian job seeker visa then here is where you need to enter your name your full name at this, as it is on your passport then your email address, the country where you, you live, okay? Then your phone number. Remember to enter the code, 
all right but if you're sending this message in nigeria even if you don't enter the code um i think it will be okay but it depends sometimes if it doesn't allow you to send it then you, you have to enter the code plus two three four okay then put your number if you're entering plus two three four it will be plus two three four and uh, if your number starts with uh, 080, you don't need to write the initial zero. You just need to write the other zero. Um, I mean, the um, the eight directly and the other numbers. Do you understand? So after you've done that, then you send. OK, so this is how you can contact them regarding this. Or you can also uh, call them. But I believe that if you call them and they pick your call, uh, they would be asking you, to send them an email because they, will, they should be they should be sending you the requirement via email or they might even invite you to come but you know um as appointment is now i don't know if they'll be able to give you an appointment to come but because this is regarding a visa they, they might give you an appointment to visit them you know in order to know more about the process or initiate the process okay so this is how to um contact the austrian um embassy in your country so remember you can do the same process for your own country not just for nigeria okay now it remains to be seen as to whether you can apply for this visa uh, in another country let's say abroad okay let's say for example you're you're an indian and you're living in turkey so uh it remains to be seen as to whether you can apply for this visa at the austrian embassy in turkey if you're a foreigner in another country then i would encourage you to contact the Austrian embassy in that country to ask them if you can apply for this visa over there. Please keep in mind that the application submission is not free, okay? Since Austrian embassy would actually charge you with 120 euros for reviewing your job um, seeker visa application, and you will be required to attach supporting document, which, which can be your intention letter. So, you'll be required to attach the following documents. Letter of intent, okay? Why do you want to move to Austria to find a job in Austria? Why do you want to work in Austria? You should write a letter of intent. Then your qualification certificate. What are your degree certificate? What are your skill set certificate? What are your internship certificate? What are your, you know, any certificate that you have, okay? So here is where you need to, um, to uh, show or document them okay so you get your certificate your job certificate proof of your health fitness okay so um this one you need to go to the hospital all right for them to do a general test for you you need to go and meet a general doctor okay and they will need to evaluate you like physically they need to check you and you know document it okay and also they need to do like blood tests uh covid tests and maybe hepatitis tests and other tests, chest x-ray, and any other test that, you know, that is normally done. You just need to go to a doctor and seek doctor's advice and tell them and they'll know the kind of test, okay? Or they should recommend a test that should be done for you. Or even the embassy, the Austrian embassy should recommend a test for you. So you need to be specific when you're asking them, okay? So you also need proof of your character certificate issued by your home country. So this one... I think in Nigeria they call it police report. Okay, you need to do this. You need to go to the police and get this report that you don't have a criminal record. It can be called criminal record certificate. And also, you need a valid international passport. Okay, this passport should be valid for more than six months since you will be given a six month visa. Okay, or you will be applying for a six month visa. Okay, so very, very important. I wanted to take note of this um, particular. Uh, documents that you need probably you might need more all these things you need to inquire from from the austrian embassy in your country or if you can apply at the country of your residence then you need to inquire from that embassy as well okay so put into mind that um this uh particular fee is per this article okay in order to be sure of this of the fee of the fee that they um they are charging i would like you to ask the austrian embassy which you intend to apply for this visa at now let's look at the austrian job seeker visa versus the red white red card now the red white red card is the austrian work permit so in order to apply for this particular one the red white red card you would need to be employed 
you need to have an offer of, of, of employment from an Austrian company or from a company in Austria in order to apply for a red, white, red card. Okay, so the Austrian job seeker visa will only allow you to enter Austria for the purpose of finding a job in their local market. However, the red, white, red card visa for Austria is a complete work permit or I mean, it's a complete work visa that is issued to skilled foreign professionals to legally reside in Austria for the purpose of doing a job for a duration of two years. Okay, this is self-explanatory. Now, if you are an EU citizen, you are exempted from Austrian job seeker visa. Yes, you are exempted because if you're an EU citizen, you can go to another EU country and work due to the immigration, um, I mean, due to the Austrian immigration department. If you are a citizen of any European country, then you are allowed legally by Austrian immigration department to enter Austria to find jobs there with an allowed maximum of stay of duration of 90 days. For non-EU nationals, when I say non-EU nationals, I mean those whose citizenship is not from Europe, from any European country. I mean those from Africa, from Asia, etc. Okay, so if you get the Austrian job seeker visa and you moved to Austria and you got a job, okay, then the next step would be to convert that visa into red, white, red card. And you can find information about this red, white, red card here. I'm going to put the link in the description below, okay, so that when you get to this stage, you will be able to uh, know what to do or you will know where to find um, uh, information about it, okay? Or you can even make inquiry about it now before even moving to Austria, okay? So, guys, that will be it about this content. Remember the things I've mentioned in, in this video. Remember the documents that you need as per this uh, article that I've mentioned. And remember that you can apply directly at the embassy of Austria in your country and how I told you that you can contact them. Remember how I showed you the way on how you can contact them, okay? Okay, remember. And also, this is my channel. Uh, feel free to check out other content. Remember, I've done content on German uh, job seeker visa as well. So you can check out that content on my, um, uh, on my channel and watch it. If you're interested in Germany more, then you can apply for that one after watching it if you're eligible. Then also remember that I also made a content about Sweden um, job seeker visa, which you can find on my content as well. All right. Then I'm also going to make more content. Like I also have other tons of content on my channel that you can check out. For example, I've made content on scholarships or a scholarship in the Netherlands, a scholarship in Belgium, a scholarship in Poland. You know, so I wanted to look at them and see if they're currently on. Okay. And uh, if you're eligible, start your application or do your application fast. And also, I've made content on U.S., on um, moving to U.S. through school and also moving to Canada through school and other opportunities as well. So ensure you are subscribed to this channel and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And please like this video if you benefited from it. And please don't be selfish share this video with another person okay so thank you so much for watching till i come your way again have a great time see you in my next video